What you just saw was Rick Ross in Vancouver last night, and he tried to play Not Like Us, and apparently some fans that were Drake fans wasn't having that, jumping Rick Ross's crew. Somebody, unfortunately, went to sleep out there. And then, of course, you know, 50 Cent's one of the ultimate trolls, so of course you just saw the video of him trolling Rick Ross. Rick Ross and Drake been having this on-again, off-again feud really for years. It all really started when Drake and Meek Mill started going at it, honestly. And I remember Rick Ross dissed them and then there was a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, so Rick Ross was obviously, like I said, he was in Vancouver, got the feeling himself, and Not Like Us is a hit right now, but there's been this no-fly zone for for certain people in Toronto and allegedly for certain people for Drake in Miami. Again, all this alleged, but yeah, Ross was there in Vancouver. Got the feeling so got to play in that song and you know, fans ran up on him. They got Ross out of there, but unfortunately one of his mans went to sleep. Now, Ross did post a picture with him on his jet talking about he good and had a good time last night, but man, this goes to show you that this is real. You cannot go to somebody else's country, city, but especially a country and play a diss song now people love drake like i said drake got a whole country behind him and yeah drake did play well he drake did this meek mill i believe in his own city but drake got a whole team of security i that looked confusing to me it looked like ross is out there with somewhat security by himself i i don't know it just you gotta have gotta have some bigger security guards out there but yeah when nobody having it ross ended up getting snuffed i mean but he made out of, he made it out of good but like i said one of his homeboys he ain't make it through he was down there asleep of course he got picked up and everybody was fine but you know this is this is what artists were afraid of you know rap it's cool you know it's good sparring but then people crews get involved like i said i don't know if these people were part of ovo but you know you, they're not going for that they, not, they wasn't going for that look ain't no wrong with ross going to canada but i don't think he should have played that song honestly or if you're gonna play that song you got to make sure you had the boys in blue in Canada up there with you. But y'all let me know. Again, as I always say, am I tripping? Because, again, I wouldn't have did nothing like that. I just would have went up there, got my money, did my show, and went on about my day. But y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about all this.